My name is Angela Hogan. I'm from Nina and I've been a civil servant for the best part of 20 years or more working with the Department of Revenue. I have two children, Ronan and Grace. Ronan is 18 and Grace is 9. Ronan is passionate about farming, passionate about machinery. He's hoping to follow in his dad's footsteps. Brendan has always been a farmer. He grew up on a farm himself and, and all his brothers are all farming. His dad and his granddad for him were all farmers. He loved machinery and was very passionate about it. He was regularly called upon by everyone to have a look at their machines, to have a look to see what was wrong with it, you know. He was a big fan of Monster Rugby and a big fan of Tipperary Hurling. Brendan would have considered the farm a safe place. He took his time doing things, so he was always fairly sure about the next move he was going to make. On the day of the accident, which was 14th of July 2011, it was a Thursday. The sun was shining. Brendan was out from early in the morning doing silage all day. I met Brendan at lunchtime that day. That was the last time I spoke to him. I got the word then at about um, half seven that evening. My brother-in-law drove into the yard. He told me that Brendan had been killed. Brendan had just landed into the farmer's field. The first bale was ready to be baled, but Brendan had to get into the machine to release a switch because there was a buildup of dust on the switch. He climbed into the machine and unfortunately the machine came down on top of him and he was killed instantly. Brendan and I had never discussed what the future of the farm would be if, if he ever went, you know, so I had to rely on, on his family for guiding me. There was no will made, uh, plus we weren't married. Um, we just hadn't got around to it. It created a lot of legal complications then because of that. Um, and it, it's taken uh, almost six years to, to get it sorted, you know. It's very important to make a will. If you or your spouse knows nothing about farming, if, they, if they're not from a farming background, it's important to have um, a plan that you would know uh, what the future of the farm, what's the best thing to do with the farm. Nobody looks for an accident to happen and nobody thinks it will happen to them. It is vital that farm safety is a priority over everything else. Um, it's, it's something that happens in a split second and suddenly your whole world is turned upside down.